Welcome to the Gadget 360 show, the games people play. That is the tagline for today's show because we've got the Xbox Series X. You know, this classic war, this kind of war only happens once in a while and this has been going on for years and years. Microsoft versus Sony, the Xbox versus the PlayStation. It's been going on and on and on. And now we've got something very, very interesting out here. They've really taken things to a whole new level. We've got the Xbox Series X. There is another in this series. We don't have that right now. But this is the big daddy of it all and we are actually going to take it through its paces to tell you if this is worth the almost 50,000 rupees that Microsoft thinks you should spend on it. Then we'll move on to Motorola's TV. Yes, Motorola, the brand, the phone brand now also makes TVs and this has been going on and on. Lots of companies that are phone companies are taking that branding experience and putting it into TVs. So how does the Motorola one fare? Then we'll move on to this, a brand new smartwatch from a company that we've actually reviewed before, Tick Watch, and then we'll move on to what I've used for my hair today, the Philips Hair Straightener. Well, I didn't get to use it, but we have people in the team who actually got to use it and we'll give you our review. Let's get started with today's show. Our top story is the big one. This is the big daddy, the Xbox Series X. Now, two different series have come out. There are a few differences between the two and we'll take you through that also. But this is the Xbox Series X. There is a Series S also. The big difference, of course, is that this has a Blu-ray disc reader inside it. That is the obvious one in front of you. There are other subtle ones, including the look and feel of the entire thing. But this is actually gaming at a whole new level. I mean, there was a time when people had thought the last Xbox and the last PlayStation had come out because they were getting too powerful. But this is almost like a supercomputer in a box. Now, this is big. It's pretty heavy. It has a lot going for it, including the fact that we really took it through its paces. So what's our final verdict? Well, I'm going to give you our first impressions. We'll give you our final verdict in our review. First and foremost, this is the ultimate gaming machine. But not too many games have come out right now that can actually use that ultimate gaming machine experience totally and absolutely use all the absolute power that this machine has and actually show it to you on screen. That's my first impression and observation. Number two, they're going to use this, use it on a really, really good display or TV because anything less than 4K, you're not really using it for what it is. You could go for the previous generation and still get good stuff out of it. And number three, and this is where I really feel things get interesting, is that war between the Xbox and the PlayStation is absolutely and totally alive. It was 2001. Sony was dominating the console gaming business. The PlayStation 2 was smashing records left, right and centre. The DualShock controller ruled gaming domes and it looked as if there was no stopping for Sony. Until one fine day when Microsoft introduced the Xbox. The console wars had begun. In 2020, history is repeating itself with both PS5 and Xbox Series X going joystick to joystick against each other. There is some time before we review the PlayStation, but worry not today, we are reviewing its dance partner, the mighty Xbox Series X. Microsoft has gone ahead with a very minimalist design for the Series X. It's a block with just one curve on it. The advertisements have really not done justice to this form factor, but if you ask us, it is the best design in Xbox history. It's uniform, which means you can keep it both ways, horizontally and vertically. But do remember that the base plate cannot be removed. In our game room, we kept it just the way it's being promoted as, vertically. The console comes with a ton of accessibility options, an Ethernet port, two HDMI ports, three USB ports and a storage expansion slot. Shifting our scope to the controller, the one we get with the Series X looks strikingly similar to the previous generations with minute changes like a USB Type-C port on the remote. With that favourable change, Microsoft has carried forward one really annoying feature. The controller, just like previous generations of the device, works with AA batteries. Microsoft not going ahead with rechargeable controllers even in 2020 is appalling to say the least. It is time to fire up the Series X and see firsthand what it is capable of. In a high-end console like this, a gamer can fairly expect a new UI but that is not the case here. The UI is similar to the one we see on the older Xbox One X. 
From Microsoft's perspective, it was done to provide an easy transition but a refreshed and unique take would have definitely added to the experience. Team Xbox has done their homework this time around. The console comes with 12.1 teraflops of computational power for gaming. That's almost twice as powerful from the Xbox One X and on paper 20% faster than the PS5 at the same price point. In practicality, that means gaming in 4K 60 frames per second is the new normal. But this is also bound to cause some problems, because not every screen can support that refresh rate. In a nutshell, to really enjoy this console is better if you have a great display as well. To make this review more interesting, we tested the performance out of the Series X with a gamer. So let's hear it from him, what he has to say about the latest console. So after spending some quality time with the Xbox Series X, it is safe to say that it is the most powerful Xbox to date. And why not? It is the Series X after all. Well, the highlight feature here is that it has got that 1TB SSD drive that really cuts short the loading time here. It is so fast that I have wondered why did I live without it all along. The booting speed is very quick and you won't even remember what the loading screen used to look like. It's unfortunate that we don't have a lot of games to test on the Series X right now because most of the exclusives are not really out there. Until next year, we won't be able to test the actual computational power of the Series X. The game day is over and it's time for the verdict. It is only fair to assume that the Series X will wow us with more exciting games in the future because there is nothing substantial on which we judge it currently. In the meantime, whichever existing games you throw at it, you will get to see smoother frame rates, a higher refresh rate and the loading time will be drastically cut short. Now available in India for Rs 49,990, the Series X is hands down the most powerful console ever built. Okay, so the final verdict, like we said, is this is an incredible machine that in every which way is well worth the money you'll spend on it. Now let's wait for those games to come out that absolutely and totally make our heads spin. Now did you see what we were actually playing the games on, the TV that we were using? That was the Motorola TV and we're going to actually now review it. So our first impression is that actually watching the games and seeing the kind of media and content that we were able to play on the Motorola TV, our first thing is it's got a fantastic screen. But what else did Motorola do? Because the number of brands that actually have TVs out right now is incredible. I think there must be about what, 100, 100 TV brands in the country right now. So did Motorola do anything to make themselves stand out? Well, they did. They actually put in a MediaTek processor into the Motorola TV to make it really, really smart. Hello, Moto. If you hear the words, Hello, Moto, coming from a TV near you, don't be surprised. The brand has entered the TV market with a bang and has launched a whole lineup of smart TVs at different price points. For our review today, we have got the big fish, Motorola's 55-inch 4K Smart TV. We don't want to draw any comparisons here, but the build quality of the Motorola TV is awe-inspiring. Unlike the plastic frame found on majority of its competition, the Moto TV has a metallic frame which is a more robust option. On the back panel itself, you will see a plethora of accessibility ports starting with three USB ports, two HDMI ports and an Ethernet cable port as well. Standard features but crucial at the same time. The build of the TV doesn't stop there to impress us. Even the sound bar of the Moto TV looks great. While we set up the TV, we would like to tell you that spec sheet on this one is quite impressive. For starters, the smart TV comes with MediaTek's 1.5GHz quad-core processor, dubbed the MediaTek 9602, built specifically for amplifying the viewing experience while watching a 4K HDR display. The high-end processor packs in a multi-core CPU and a modern GPU and it is a major reason why the Motorola Smart TV checks all the boxes in terms of performance. The Motorola Smart TV comes with a 55-inch 4K bezel-less display. The display comes with a new Auto-Tune X Plus feature which automatically adjusts the picture quality according to the content that we are watching. The picture quality only gets better thanks to the Dolby Vision feature that the Motorola TV comes with. The dynamic range and contrast that we could see on this smart TV were almost at par with what we usually get on TVs which are twice its price. 
If you like watching YouTube videos just like ourselves, then the Google Assistant feature will come in really handy for you. The assistant was quick to respond and swiftly showed us the results. Now, if you have been following our show for a while, you would know that we are very critical when it comes to the sound quality of a TV. With the Motorola Smart TV, we were not left disappointed. The TV produces sound from a 50-watt speaker which supports Dolby Atmos. The sound was crystal clear and we could hear each and every detail. Motorola 55-inch Smart TV is one of the first Smart TV in the market today which comes with Android 10. Also, pretty much like the Motorola smartphones, the UI that you see here is almost stock Android adding to the user experience. Since it's a Google certified Android TV, it will get regular OT updates which makes it a future-proof investment. So should you be saying hello back to the Motorola TV? We think you should. The TV packs in premium features for a not-so-premium price tag. At Rs 40,999, Motorola TV is a great option for your money. Now we'll move on to a smartwatch, the TicWatch Pro 3 GPS. As you can obviously make out, TicWatch is something that we've covered before. We've done a dual screen TicWatch before. At that time also we'd said great product, fantastic features, great battery life, very, very good screen, but the price is a problem. So I'm repeating that exact review for this one also. Great product, great features. We'll show you what is really interesting in it. Great screen, great battery life, but it's the price that is the problem. Almost 28 thousand rupees means you're playing in Apple Watch territory. Gone are the days when the smartest watch in your drawer held that title only because it was all digital. Times have changed and so has the definition of a smart watch. At a time when virtually every major player in the market is launching its own variant of the product, we won't be surprised if you want to try and get your hands on one too. The hype is real. So today on the show, we're reviewing one of the most premium smartwatches out there, the TicWatch Pro 3 GPS. Yes, Mobvoi recently launched the successor to its highly appreciated product, the TicWatch Pro, and we're excited to review it for you. So let's count our minutes and get to the review. Starting with the looks of the TicWatch Pro 3, the round LED design is becoming a go-to option for most of the manufacturers in the market. Mobvoi has given a twist to it and added a metal bezel which is there just to lend some aesthetics to the smartwatch as it is not a rotating bezel like the one we see on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. The strap situation is better here than the other smartwatches in Mobvoi's portfolio. The replaceable blue straps are comfortable with the watch sitting beautifully on our wrist and maintaining a tight grip as well. The Pro 3 GPS also comes with a dual screen display. There is an always-on display and it shows all the basic information like time, date and steps. But the display is really dim, making it very difficult to read in daylight. Thankfully, there is a rise to wake feature which will illuminate this screen as well. It is only after pressing the hard buttons on the right that the beautiful AMOLED display wakes up. The 1.4 inch display is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are vibrant, the text is as crisp as it can get. It's a buttery smooth display to interact with. The TicWatch Pro 3 runs on Google Wear OS, which means the user can get access to all the Google applications and Google Assistant as well. The OS works really well on the watch as the TicWatch Pro 3 GPS has 1 GB of RAM. This is a notable improvement since the past iterations of Google Wear OS always had some sort of bugs like getting delayed responses or the smartwatch shutting down altogether. The feature-rich OS comes with Google's own apps like the Google Fit app and Google Translate. You can access Google's big library of watch OS apps right from your wrist because this smartwatch can access Play Store. There is a heart rate monitor which can be enabled to work around the clock. There is also an A-grade blood oxygen sensor on board that is highly accurate. The TicWatch Pro 3 has a dedicated mic and speaker which can be used to record audio and can be played back as well. This means you can dial up some numbers and have a chat with your friends too. The TicWatch Pro 3 lasts 5 days easily with heavy to moderate use. To be clear, we had enabled all the sensors on the smartwatch and occasionally took calls on it as well. The 577 mAh battery combined with an all new Snapdragon Wear 4100 chipset, the TicWatch can easily last well over 10 days if used efficiently. 
To conclude, the TicWatch Pro 3 GPS is a great smartwatch. It is lightweight, it looks good and it works flawlessly. The only thing it misses out is the fact that Mobvoi has not priced it aggressively. At 27,999 rupees, this smartwatch competes with other premium smartwatches in the market and that might be a difficult barrier to overcome for this smartwatch. Let's take a quick break right now on the Gadget 360 show and we come back, lots more happening. You know, at lockdown times, this is the kind of product that could have saved people's lives, literally, because the lockdown created a little bit of a problem, right? I mean, you weren't going out of your house, but you had to look really, really good for your Zoom, Skype and other calls. Video conferencing was on fire. So this is the Philips Sense IQ. It's a hair straightener. And like I said, a product that is literally worth its weight in gold right now to a lot of people. And we got the only person in our team that could actually give us a candid, and very, very true review. The House of Philips is popular and well reputed when it comes to home appliances, but there is one division in the electronic giant's portfolio that has started grabbing a lot of attention lately. We're talking about its beauty tech lineup. Philips recently announced a new range of Sense IQ products which are innovative and might just change the way we've been styling ourselves. Today on the show, we're checking out Philips's new Sense IQ hair straightener. With most of us avoiding going to salons because of the pandemic, a personal hair straightener is that one device that can give you the makeover that you desire in the comfort of your home. Philips claims that it's not a regular hot iron, but a more sophisticated product meant to give you a better hair styling experience. So without any further ado, let's iron out some bangs. Philips ships a complete package with the Sense IQ hair straightener. There is a heat resistant rollout that can also be used as a heat resistant mat while styling. There is also a heat protection cap that you can use to lock the hair straightener when it's not in use. Philips has debuted its Sense IQ technology with this product. The advanced feature has been developed to provide a personalized styling experience to the user. There are sensors located in the device which can measure the hair temperature more than 20,000 times per styling session. In the process, the straightener quickly adapts to the temperature to lock in up to 70% of the hair's natural moisture. All these claims were put to test by our teammate Rubina Mungya, who will now share her feedback for this innovative hair straightener with all of you. Hello, I'm Rubina Mungya. I'm part of the tech team at NDTV and I'm going to be reviewing the Philips Sense IQ here, which is a hair straightener. And I have to say that I'm a lot into beauty tech, so I hope I do justice to the new Philips hair straightener. Now this one is really good. So I tried it right now. I actually had like really heavy hair and I tried to straighten them and this is what I think. I think the 14 modes, the temperature control is amazing. Once you turn on the Sense IQ, then the hair, the iron senses your hair temperature and then accordingly styles your hair, which is amazing again. And another thing that I like is that if you're in a rush, there's a fast mode, so you can just turn on the fast mode and quickly style your hair. So what I did not like about the hair iron is that when you're curling your hair, the cord comes in between. So it's not very easy to turn around your hair with a cord. I hope Philips built the next version without the cord. Apart from that, it doesn't get too hot up here, which is a huge plus. So it's easy to hold it and rotate while you're curling. And you don't have to do it too many times to straighten your hair. So maybe like twice and your hair will be straightened if you have thin hair as mine. The thicker hair might take long. All in all, Philips has really outdone themselves with the Sense IQ hair straightener. The product delivers on its promise of giving you great results without damaging your precious hair. We do hope that the next iteration of the product is wireless, but till then, at Rs. 9,995, you can consider getting this piece of beauty tech to make your life simpler. That then is the Gadgets 360 show for this week, but we've got some very interesting things happening next week, including Xiaomi's next laptop.